Hello everybody, it's Mindy. It's a beautiful day here today and everybody has decided to mow their lawns and I need to do some recording. So if you hear lawn mowers, I apologize, but I needed to get some recording done. So I hope you enjoy this. I, if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been around for a while, welcome back. I have something here from a company I've never ordered from before. I've looked around and I've looked around and I've found a lot of things I liked and I just hadn't pulled the trigger yet. Recently, they posted on Instagram an image that I had to had to get. It, I, it was one of those images I was just like, yep, that's the one. Okay. This is from Diamond Painting Fanatics, um, which is in the UK. And it didn't take that long. I actually never got a shipping notice that this was coming and it just showed up today. And I was like, okay, well, I'll take it. I meant to look up the date of my order, but I forgot. Yep, I forgot. Okay, this is all taped up. So first of all, this came in an outer white envelope type thing, right? And as you can see, it comes in what we call the bubble boot. Now, back in the day, we hated the bubble boot because paintings were double-sided adhesive. They'd roll them up in here and your paintings would just go wobble, wobble with all of these lines of the bubbles. But however, this one is rolled up nicely and I don't think it's going to be a problem. And I think it is poured glue, so it shouldn't be an issue. All right, let's get everything out of this bubble thing here. First of all, let's look at what our tool kit has. Okay, I'm not going to take it all out because you can see it very clearly. We have a white boat, some metal tweezers, a purple squishy, some wax, and we have a pen with a seven placer. Looks like a seven placer. So that is your tool kit. All right, nice little tool kit. Here are our drills. These are our colors. Oh, look, I see some AB right there and right there. Okay, so it does have ABs. And it has an inventory sheet. So let's get that out of here. Let's show you what the inventory sheet has to hold. Um, I will say this, that in um, placing my order and chatting with her just a little bit, she is also going to sponsor some events for me. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. All right. So here she is. This is what I had to get. The Blossom Fairy. She's 50 by 60. So here's your inventory sheet. She has, um, I don't know how many colors. It started going up to 50. Oh, okay. It goes up to 50 colors. Wait, 49, 49. Okay, that's it. 49 regular colors. And then there are four ABs. So... It's like 53 colors. Okay. Um, it has your codes here. It has your DMC number. It has your weight, how many bags you'll get. All that good stuff is on there. All right. Let's keep going. Got some rubber bands around it to just keep it, you know, keep it together. Sorry, I banged you. Let's take those off. Okay. So first thing I noticed, it's got the soft back. That felt like soft back. It's got scalloped and poked edges, right? I'm going to roll it backwards because it is poured glue, as you can tell. And I'm just going to roll it backwards so I can get the rest of the stuff out of the inside. And I'll get it to lay nice and flat. I'll tell you more about um, what she's going to do for sponsor type things. I think she's going to do October, November. I don't know. I, I got I to go back and look at the information, the communication between us. So, all right. So get rid of the foam roller. Next thing I notice is we have a little sticker sheet, which is awesome. Who doesn't love a sticker sheet? Love it. So it tells us it's Blossom Fairy, a 50 by 60. It's round drills. And here are our stickers we can cut apart and put on our containers. Love that. There's our symbols. There's some interesting ones in here I've never seen. Like this guy right here. I don't know what that is. Like some, some sort of a bridge or something. Hmm. They do have all of the letters and numbers. Well, not all of them. They didn't use O, N, Q, things like that. So that's good. 
All right. She doesn't really look quite like that. So don't, don't, don't go with that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to see this? The artist is on the bottom of the painting. The artist is Venera. And boy, oh boy, a couple people have got this artist now. And I just love this artist. I love all of her work. Um, over here it says diamondpaintingfanatics.com. That's the website. And over here are all of the colors. It says there's 50. It's right at the edge. Look at it. It kind of got cut off a little bit here. Not really cut off, but almost. Anyhow. There she is. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? I think she's gorgeous. She was just the prettiest thing on Instagram. I fell in love with her. This is just the plastic you're seeing here. Like if you pull this back, you won't notice these wrinkles. Let me do that real quick. So you can see what it looks like. Okay, come on. Let's get some of the wrinkly plastic off there. See how much better she looks now? Look. See how good she looks up there? I think she's just stunning. I think she's just the cutest little fairy girl in the world. Oh, man. I'm making more of a mess. Than... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I made more wrinkles over here than I meant to. <laughs> ah, anyhow. Yeah. Ooh, I made a mess. Do I have something on here? Yep, something's on there. Okay, there. Got it off. Sorry. This is a thin plastic, so it's kind of wanting to just really wrinkle. Anyhow, I'll play with it later, and I'll get it to all be much nicer than that. But she's adorable. Okay, just adorable. I loved her when I saw her. So they got some really, really nice things. And they have several things from Fenera. Fenera? I hope that's how you say it. I just loved it. How pretty, right? All right, let's look at drills and let's see what we think about that. Okay, first of all, before we go any further, let's check a couple of things. It is very, very sticky, which is nice. Now let's look up close at the drill field. Now, it does have what we would call a guide circle. So the symbols are in a little circle, as you can see. But the circle is not dark. And I think the circle is small enough that your drill is going to cover it and you're not going to see that line. Guide circles are really a problem when you can see them and they're bold, dark outlines. And you'll see them because you can never place the drills 100% perfect, right? But other than that, I think it's going to be just fine. I think it's going to be great. Symbols look good. Clarity is there. Everything's looking clear, even in the dark over here in the dark area. Um, so far, it looks like all the symbols, the lettering is black. Am I right? I don't see any white lettering, but that doesn't really seem to be a problem. It doesn't really matter. I can see everything just fine. All right, so there she is. Blossom Fairy. Our drills come pre-bagged. Gotta love that, pre-bagged drills. Are they in order? That's the next question, I don't know. No, they're not in order. Well, they're in a little order. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I'll change my mind. Okay. So here's some of our colors. Let me see. Let me zoom you in. Here comes the lawnmower next door. Mm -hmm. Now it's nice and close. Some gray colors, greens. It's a very different color palette for me. I usually like very bright colors, but I am good with this. I think it's going to be just beautiful. Another gray. Let's see what else we have. Looking for those ABs, right? Oranges. Okay, here's some ABs. There's supposed to be four. There's a couple. Set those to the side. Look at all the pretty oranges and peaches. Nice. I really like this. Okay, looking for a couple more ABs. 
There's one more. I passed by some. Lots and lots of oranges. Orange used to be my favorite color when I was younger. I was an orange. There's another one. I was an orange lover, for sure. All right, there's our colors. So can you kind of get a sense of what this is going to do? Peaches, oranges, greens, because there's greenery around her. Some grays. Super pretty, right? Okay, here's the ABs. What do we have? 823, that dark blue. Pretty. A lot of it. Then we have 413, which is a gray. On a lot of that one. We have a little bit of white. And that is white, white. And a little bit of the mint color. Nice. Drills look good. They don't look staticky at all. I'm like, okay, everything looks great if you ask me. All right, well, let's see. Where do we think that they would put ABs? Let's check that out. Move all this aside. Let's see if we can hunt for some ABs. First of all, I got to find out what the symbol is. So 3756, are they in order on the canvas? Are they all at the bottom? Um, it's just a little squiggly line, little squiggly line. I don't know if I'll be able to find them. So bear with me, okay? The symbols look very small on this. And I think that they are so that they fit. You know what I mean? And not show the, um, like the guide circles and things. I, I'm not finding them yet. Not finding them yet. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, it might, it might take me a little while. I might have to go off camera and do some hunting and come back. I just don't see you. Huh. Oh, that's, I'm wrong. That's why it's 3756. Oy, hello. Okay, 3756 looks like a pitchfork. I'm looking for the pitchfork. Um, no, it's, it's a pitchfork, but it's not a pitchfork. Okay, it's here. It's this symbol right here. So this whole little patch right here. And a bunch of it coming up this way and through here. And then over here we get some throughout here. So it's like that background around her down here is going to be that pale, pale blue. And is there some up here? Yes. Up here in her wings we have little bits of it. And over here in her wing. Okay? That's where this goes. All right. Next, where's the white go? The white is, oh, the white's another pitchforky looking thing. <laughs> another pitchfork looking thing. Um, oh, and it's mixed in. Okay, so look, let me bring you in real close. Now, can you tell the difference? We have this one that's like the pitchfork, that's white. And then we have this one that's kind of like a pitchfork with a line under it, that's the light blue. So they're kind of going together side by side there. I'm about to stop and shut my window. Same thing in here. The white and the blue are working in tandem. They're kind of together. None in her eyes. Yeah, I think that's where you're going to find all the white. It's just mixed in with that pale aqua blue. Yep, I don't see them anywhere else. Okay. Then we have 413, this gray. And it is the C. Now, I'm going to assume, let's look at gray areas. Okay, we have C up the side here. We have some that gray up the side over here. Um, do we have some in the swirls of her hair? It's hard to see them without picking this up. Yes. So throughout these swirls of her hair, we have the AB, the gray. Oh, yeah. It's all over here. In her hair, in the background, in her hair here. Yeah, over here. Lots of it. All right. Get a sense of where that's at. And then the last one is the 823, which is the dark blue. And that's a W. 
I'm going to assume we go back to those same places. So the W's are over where the hair gets darker because it's a dark blue. So her hair is going to be dark blue and gray, and then she has flowers in it. So all through this dark hair here, there are W's speckled throughout. And there's some over here. So all of those dark areas that you see get some of that blue AB. Okay, there's none up there. Oh, there are, there are some right in here. So there might even be some in the background. There is here and here and here and over here. Yep. All right. So where you see the dark colors, you're going to get some of the dark blue. I think she's precious. I think she's going to be just gorgeous. What do you think? If you have not checked out Diamond Painting Fanatics, go check out Diamond Painting Fanatics and see what you think. Now, here's the other thing. I do believe the owner of Diamond Painting Fanatics has taken over DIY Moonshop. Um, please, please be patient. You know, we know DIY Moonshop did go out of business. Um, they're supposed to be taking care of their, their responsibilities on their end, and the new owner is picking up and taking over from there. Please be patient with her. Um, she's had a nice little shop going. You know, it hasn't been huge. Taking that on, I'm sure, is quite a task. Let's just be patient and see how she does and give her a chance, you know. Um, this is a nice, nice painting. I like the rendering of it. I think it's very, very pretty. I would like to work on it a little bit and see how it's going. You know, change is good. Change can be difficult. Change takes work. <laughs> so, you know, I just say, have grace, you know. And be kind and supportive and hope for the best. Wish everybody the best in life. I'll just leave it at that, okay? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'm pretty excited about this one. And I will continue to go back to her site and see what else she has. Um, try this one out. And if I like it, you know, I might be purchasing again. Did I tell you it cost me $67? And that was U.S. I mean, it comes up in Great Britain pounds, but that was my cost US. And it really only took a few weeks. It hasn't been that long. I wish I would have looked up that date for you, but I'll see if I can put it at the beginning, the date. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to put it away for now and um, move on to my next recording. But I love her. She's very pretty. I think her face just looks great. I think it rendered great. What do you think? Tell me your opinion. Have you purchased from them before? If you have, what has been your experience? And what do you think of her? All right, let me know. Okay, I will talk to everybody soon. Bye, you guys.